So as we're closing this session here, we'll go Brian, Chris, and then Michael again. Any last words? Um, we have racers on the call who are looking for wheel and tire sponsors. Any last words of advice? Yeah, I'm going to follow up on what Michael said. Don't send out the same email. Don't send out the same proposal to everyone. This is a very small industry. We all know each other. And if you burn somebody, we all know about it. You're not going to get picked up by somebody else. If you send out a generic proposal that shows you've put no you know, research or investment into what you're asking for, it's not going to get a response. Um, so I think that's very important. And just, uh, you know, I'm going to say it again, treat it like a business, you know, be professional. Uh, if you're looking to pick up big sponsors, don't be posting goofy stuff on your personal Instagram. We're all going to see it and we don't want you <laughs> representing our brand. Yeah. You're a brand ambassador. You're representing that brand with everything you do. That's and as right. Matt Martellio says, is you are what they Google. And once it's online, it is forever. <laughs> Yeah, yes. and make sure you search your name on Google so you know what it says before everybody else finds <laughs> it. scares me sometimes searching my name. <laughs> yeah. All right, Chris, any last words of advice? Yeah, I'll echo, I'll echo those sentiments. Um, you're, you're applying for a job. Uh, you're applying to be a, a marketer of our brand. And you should, it should be direct. It should be personalized to the brand. Um, your, your communication should be specific. And if you want to build lasting relationships and long-term sponsorships that actually help you achieve your goals, you may have to take a hit in, in the first year or two to prove yourself. But if you believe in the brand that you're approaching, which would make it a good brand for you to be affiliated with, then it'll be worth it because you'll deliver the value. So don't be scared to believe in yourself and, and, and step out. And we have so many people to measure from. We can't necessarily, we don't know all of your backstory initially. So sometimes it's a reach for us at a level that doesn't feel relative to you or, or uh, valuable enough to you, but you'll deliver enough value that down the road, it will be worth it. That's a really good point. And I like the point where you said you're, you're, it's like you're applying for a job. Your resume yeah. is your application. You know, you want to represent well because you're going to represent the brand. Real quick, Michael, any last words? And then we're going to head over to the last session, which is networking and meeting new sponsors. Yep, a, a couple of things that I'll, I'll uh, build on from what both Brian and Chris have said. You know, Brian uh, mentioned something that's a real big deal for us. Always include in your proposal, what can you do for us other than the race? You know, yes. it might be a, a, 12, a 12 race series. Well, that's only 12 days, 24 days out of a, you know, six or eight month period. What are you doing for me in between there? Can you show up at one of my dealers? Um, you know, can we use your truck in another event booth? What else can you do? And then demonstrate what you've done for other sponsors. If you've participated in other, any of these other affiliate programs or you've got anything where you can actually demonstrate results, that's a huge thing to uh, include in your proposals. Uh, the other thing that uh, you guys both mentioned we want people who are good sportsmen, who are high character, they've got a, a positive public persona, and that that's a genuine one, that if you go ask other racers in their series, that this guy is somebody who will help you when your truck's broke in the pit, um, you know, and he's not, not taking advantage of other people or that kind of thing. Those are big deals uh, to make sure that you're dealing with good people, uh, because that's, that's just as important as whatever results they put up in the track is that they're um, that, that they're well liked and well well received in, in that racing community because that lends credibility to their voice when we put our name on their vehicle. So mm -hmm. those are all really important things I think that uh, people need to include in their deck and and in how they present themselves. Awesome, awesome guys, that was great. That was a good session. That was the first time we did that one, and I'm going to do that one again because I think that's very valuable, and it is one of the biggest expenses of racing 